Unbox60k here, and I'm super hyped to make this tutorial. I don't know why. I just drank a bunch of Gatorade, so I'm pretty hyper, but... You know. <coughs> Alright, I think that was probably the worst intro I've ever done. But, you guys just saw a preview of what we're going to be making, and pretty much it's with this sick Plexus stuff, with depth of field, and basically how I create most of my Plexus effects, which is one of the main things I do in editing. I use Plexus probably way too much, but, you know, it looks sick, so I like it. Um, pretty much, let's just start this off. If you guys missed my last tutorial, it was on this cracked text. It looked really, really sweet. So I suggest you guys go check that out. I'm making this back to back since I'm going on vacation pretty soon and I need to make videos for while I'm gone. So come on. All right. So how you start this off? First of all, you're going to need Plexus. Obviously, I'm going to say this with every uh, plugin tutorial that I do. So try to find Plexus any way you can. I can't provide any download links or anything. Again, yada, yada, yada. But I'm sure you guys could find something if you set your mind to it. So, switch up Plexus in the effects and presets just so we can start going. And I'm actually going to delete that other comp just so that my my thing doesn't get so laggy. Just go to my project section and delete this other comp because my project will get kind of laggy if there's so much stuff backed up. So, anyways, let's just start off with Plexus. What I like to do is just add all my stuff. So, add a path layer. And I'll explain what all this means later. Add noise effector. Add, um, come on, transform, that's it. And is there anything else we need from a factor? I'm not sure, let's see. Uh, we might use color map, but I don't think we will because it doesn't really matter. Uh, renderer, now we just need a lines renderer. Come on. So, how all this stuff works, pretty much the path object, what that will do is let me demonstrate, right? So we have this path object, and if you don't know what a path is, Basically, it's a mask. I'm just going to create an elliptical mask by double-clicking this circle thing right here. So it brings up this mask, and if we turn on the mask viewer, as you can see, it created this mask, and it creates a bunch of particles around this mask. And there is 100 particles on this mask. We can turn that down, we can turn that up, however you guys want. I don't know why, but the particles look kind of weird right now. Oh, I don't know why. Um. So if we just turn off this lines render one second, then as you can see, we just get the particles around this mask. So we can turn the lines render back on later, and we're just going to put the points per each mask to 200. So we have 200 particles to work with. The noise effector is what's really, really fun, but I'll do that last because it's probably best to just mess with that last. Transform doesn't really matter. What I am going to do though, is nothing i'm not even gonna touch transform actually transform basically just makes you lets you move it around and rotate it and do all that fun stuff if you're working in a 3d composition where you're doing motion tracking and stuff i highly suggest you use this because you're probably going to need to move the plexus around a bit so all right lines render is last so i'm pretty much done here pretty much what lines renderer is is it makes these lines between each point nothing too complex there you can make the maximum distance between each point which is 100 pixels and 10 points between each other lines can connect so hope that makes a little bit of sense at least in the points render that's nothing too special what i do want to do, do though is click draw only connected points so that means only two points that are connected to each other will be rendered so points that are just off in the wild just minding their own business they won't get rendered so you won't see them because they look kind of nasty in my opinion finally we'll mess with the noise effector i'm just going to crank this up it's something really big so that looks really that looks pretty cool like that maybe turn this up a bit i'm going to create a pretty sick composition and what i would normally do if i want to add some depth of field is add a triangulation renderer but i don't know why plexus did this but you can't do depth of field with triangles and i'll show you Actually, I'm not even going to show you guys can mess around if you really care, but it's kind of waste of time. Pretty much, it just doesn't let you do that to feel like triangles just don't get paid, but everything else does. It just looks so stupid. I do not know why they did that, it makes no sense. And if you had this cool process, you can create a camera.
Prism looks pretty cool. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but <clears throat> you guys got the basic idea. What I, what I would probably add in this scenario though, unless I'm doing like a color, it like say I wanted to make the plex a certain color, I would use a color map, but for now I'm just going to throw in an FL glow. I use FL glow, like I said, probably just as much as plex is. It's, I, use, I overuse it a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> so, change this to ab aberrative, make this like 500 pixels. And we'll get a really cool effect. Let's let's actually put it to like 100, just to see what it'll look like. Cause I'm kind of curious. All right, load, load, load. Come on. So as you can see, we get these cool things, but I think it will look sicker. Let's say like 250. I think 250 will look pretty swaggy. Come on, come on. Work with me here. In case you guys are wondering, I'm still pretty hyper from that Gatorade. Gatorade's hashtag so worth it though. So, you know, if I could, if Gatorade could sponsor me. I take that sponsorship 10 out of 10 and run with it. I love Gatorade so much, it's like, it's my fave, fave product I think ever. So, you know, I'm not just saying that because I'm sponsored by Gatorade. Okay, I, never mind, actually. Gatorade's just good, period. So, that's about the end of the tutorial, actually. We got this cool Plexus. I'll do an animation for the preview that you guys saw because I'm just going to render a preview out right now. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, actually, how you guys would do an animation, you just click, click from the point of interest. And position go to the end then just use your camera tool whether it's the rotation or whatever to move it around the scene and then it'll animate with these keyframes so anyways that's about it hope you guys enjoyed i would pour gator in on the mic but then i won't be able to make any more commentaries so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this see you later